welcome to another speed build here in my channel. I am the Lamacorn and I hope you enjoyed this build because it is a very special one uh, because it is a collab with the amazing Virtual Lee and I am so honored to be a part of this collab with her. So yeah, this is Agnes Crumple Bottoms house and it is going to make an appearance in Virtual Lee's Let's Play. She is also a YouTuber and she does Let's Plays of course. And yeah, she asked me to build Agnes Crumple Bottoms house from Sims 3 and Sims 2. Uh, so I was very very pleased and so so happy to be a part of this amazing amazing opportunity because virtually is like one of the biggest supporters of my channel and I am so thankful for everything and yeah uh, so I hope you guys enjoyed this and I hope she does too so this is Agnes Crumplebottom's house and I know I didn't really have to build the exact same house uh, she came in with within the sim games but I just wanted to I don't know have a little bit of fun with it and see what it could look like in Sims 4 so yeah I hope it's okay still I think it looks so great in the end and it's definitely quite different than what I'm used to building. So, a little bit about Agnes Crumplebottom, or Miss Crumplebottom, as some of you might know her. She is a pre made sim, and yeah, she is a widow. Her husband died in their honeymoon, I think. So, her husband is deceased, and she's kind of grumpy because of that and i created the interior based on her personality and her traits and tastes and whatnot so she likes to cook and paint and she also reads a lot so there are a lot of bookshelves spread around the house and a very very big kitchen with uh yeah very big kitchen and lots of easels spread around the house too so this is the house from sims 3 and yeah it's the one i'm most familiar with because i'm more of the sims 3 generation because you know i'm really just too young to be playing the game since you know it came out so yeah um i'm more familiar with that in that game so that's why I chose the Sims 3 version instead of the Sims 2 because yeah of course she, she first appeared in Sims 2 but I only just really remember her in Sims 3 although I did play Sims 2 so yeah that was a bit confusing I hope you could understand that so in Sims 3, her house was really, really modern, and uh, yeah, it was modern, and she was a young adult, uh, contrary to Sims 2, where she was an elder, and I mean, that is quite a big difference, so I mean, I don't really understand why is that, but you know, uh, so she is a young adult, and I, I got her from the gallery, there's someone in the gallery that created her and yeah she's like the sims 3 version so that's pretty cool too and for the house i created the interior based on some uh, inspiration from her house in sims 3 as well and yeah i mean still quite different but the essence of it i think is still the same and she has a very very strange taste i think i don't know i'm just really out of my comfort zone doing this and yeah but i like it and i think it looks good i don't know you might have to tell me in the comments but uh yeah i think it looks good for her and sometimes i got kind of lost because yeah as i said it's just 
really not what I'm used to, so I often got lost in the middle of it, thinking, what am I going to do in here? And yeah, but I think it turned out fine in the end. So there's a lot of living areas because it is quite a big house. I mean, it's not the most, not the most massive house you've seen, but it is pretty big. And there's this massive dining area, which there we go. It's not going to be there. And I skipped ahead a lot of this because I did take my time with it because I wanted something really, really good to come out of this. And yeah, I did take my time and it was like a lot of time. So I couldn't really leave it all in here for you. So I'm sorry about that, but it's just, you know, you're used to it. And yeah, so there you can see in this secondary lounge area with the bar and stuff, I did this thing in the flooring where, you know, instead of using a rug from the game, you just create your own pattern with the floor tiles from the game. And I think that's a very good alternative if you're like sick from sick of the rugs we have in the game right now because yeah I mean we're lacking so much in those and especially for this specific style of Agnes uh, I didn't think any of the rugs really suited this living area for example so I just created my own and that was also inspired by the Sims 3 house I think he had one of those patterns on the floor in the entrance room i believe so yeah this is the kitchen it's quite massive and it is enclosed with those walls and arches and stuff but yeah i think it looks so cute and i love it so much it's very very dark um so yeah in the sims 3 house her husband uh, i think his name was eric he haunted the house and you know just appeared in there often so yeah i think that was like such a cool thing but uh, in the sims 4 i don't know i wanted to do kind of like a story of him uh appearing in the house in some of the screenshots but it's just so hard to get a ghost in this game uh, if not from the gallery, I mean. Uh, once when I was doing a, an LP, uh, I had to, I needed a ghost and I killed the sim. And I was like waiting so long for him to come and yeah, it was not a good time. So this is the upstairs and it is a three floor house. But the third floor is not usable or not accessible because it's just purely I don't know decorative for the outside uh, it does make a lot of difference you can tell like if you had in the third floor if it didn't have the third floor it would look so different and it just makes it look much much nicer I think so yeah that's a little bit of a trick in there but I did something cool with it and uh, yeah so there's a little office area in this upstairs upstairs part and yeah it's very very glamorous i think this house and we used that wallpaper which is kind of like very traditional looking and this house is a bit of a mix with traditional and modern uh the outside is a lot more modern than the interior and this is the guest bedroom there are three bedrooms potentially there is of course the master bedroom this guest bedroom and there's also a nursery which is unfinished because in the sims 3 house i had a read about it and there was like this nursery with only a bassinet and what was it i think it was a toy because I think Agnes and her husband were planning on having a kid, but then, you know, he kind of died in the process. So there's that. Um, and also, 
I did something kind of cool with the planters with that came with Romantic Garden because I was just getting so sick of the potted plants we have in the game right now that I kind of was just like creating my own if that makes sense so I used a normal potted plant and an outside plant like normal you'd use for landscaping and I think it looks good also and yeah it's a bit of fun and a bit different you can kind of create whatever it is that you want with it and be creative with move objects on and oh yeah that is the master bedroom and I as you could see there there was like a lot of curtains uh, around the bed forming like a canopy and I was a bit unsure if that was working but I did test this house and everything is working and I was so happy about it because I used a lot of move objects on and you know with move objects it's gotta watch watch out for the sims getting stuck in places and yeah also in the outside there's a little pond and I think it just gave the house another look you know and so yeah these are the screenshots uh, I didn't do those video clips the showcase because I don't know I just don't think they were working and I think the screenshots will be better better and you can also see them in tumblr which is just llama corn and download this on the gallery via uh, my username ID is llama corn with a u between o and r and yeah follow me on twitter facebook i don't know and also check out a uh, virtual leaves video if you want to see the house featured in it and you know just check her out but i i think you already know her and yeah virtually you are amazing and yeah i hope you guys enjoyed this tell me what you think in the comments down below and I'll be very, very happy to hear them. And yeah, until next time, I hope to see you in my next video. Hopefully, it's going to be about very, very soon. I've been quite busy, but I'll try and post soon. So yeah, I did my outro a little bit early. These are the floor plans. And I hope you enjoyed this. Thank you so much. Bye.